Hey everyone, I'm Cece Desist. I bought some cheap shoes online and I'm going to show you how I rhinestone them. I got my big old bag of Aurora Borealis rhinestones and I like to tip them out into the lid of a shoe box and that's because when they're upside down you can just shake it around like this, they won't fall out and it flips them right side up. These are the shoes that I'm working with, they were not expensive at all, I got them online and as you can see I've already made a bit of a head start. I just use scrapbooking tweezers like these, you can get them at any craft or discount store. They're great for picking up the rhinestones, but also if you dip them in a bit of glue, you can pick them up just like that, and it makes for really quick and easy application. The glue that I'm using is some sort of variation of the famous E6000 glue, but it has an application tip which makes it really easy to work with. So I start by laying down a line of glue, then placing rhinestones along that line, and this is a significantly faster alternative to gluing rhinestones individually, which may be your first instinct. It certainly was mine when I started stoning things. So before, I mentioned that these are Aurora Borealis rhinestones, otherwise known as AB rhinestones. As far as I'm aware, that just means that the colour is iridescent and shifts as it moves and catches light. I honestly find stoning so relaxing. I really love nothing more than putting on a podcast or an episode of Drag Race on in the background and just rhinestone anything. I think that if I had enough time and glue that I would honestly bedazzle everything that I own. My biggest piece of advice is you want to go into rhinestoning with a Tetris mindset. If you plan on committing to an entirely bedazzled accessory, avoid empty gaps as much as possible. Another thing to note is that the smaller and more detailed the rhinestones, the sparklier you'll be. Basically, this gives light more places to bounce off of. I made an ambitious promise to myself that if I was ever going to wear anything on stage that I didn't make myself, I wanted to at least embellish or repurpose it somehow. I love buying affordable costume pieces and then making them my own with some sparkle. My favourite things to rhinestone are shoes, hats, belts, anything that would qualify for the accessories section on a website. Um, I'm also a big believer in props used in an act being sparkly. I recently bought a 1920s dancing cane and I fully intend on bedazzling that too. I also love incorporating rhinestones into a makeup look. Of course I wouldn't use the glue that I'm using here, but you can use a cosmetic adhesive like eyelash glue or spirit gum. Rhinestones will stick faster to glue that is a little bit tacky as opposed to glue that's like fresh because the rhinestone tends to want to slide around when the glue hasn't dried down a little bit. So. Um, one thing you can actually do is you can like leave a fan on in your room and that helps get the glue like just the right amount of tacky and make things go a lot quicker but doesn't completely dry it out straight away so you can still work with it. If you're ever rhinestoning fabric or clothing like gloves or a bodysuit, make sure that you put something inside or underneath the part of the fabric that you're gluing. Um, the reason for that is that once everything's dried, you'll find you've, you've glued your glove together, man. You can't put your hand in it. So uh, there's a bodysuit that I rhinestoned myself. I stuck a cushion down there and yeah, my cushion has glue on it now, but I don't give a shit, man. Well, I'm almost done with the hard part, so I'm going to fast forward ahead to the finished product. Yes, and there is no filter on that, guys. That is a camera phone with the flash turned on. And you can only imagine what the results are like when the stage lights are on. Honestly, rhinestoning is just so satisfying visually and satisfying to do, in my opinion. I really hope that you liked this video, guys, and I'd love to see what you plan on rhinestoning next. I've been Cece Desist, and if you want more useful blog posts, you can go over to www.ladyvelvetcabaret.com.au.